Hi, Romy. What is the problem? Well, my teacher has asked me to make a presentation on plants. How do I do that? That is simple. You can easily use PowerPoint. Come, I will show you. Really? Please tell me how to use PowerPoint. We are well familiar with handling text in Word 2016. But it is also very important to present textual data using effective tools. For this purpose, MS Office 2016 Suite is embedded with a tool called PowerPoint 2016. Let us learn about PowerPoint 2016. Presentation Graphics Software A presentation graphics software is a category of an application program which helps to create computer-based presentations and also present the information in an interesting manner. It also helps in creating different types of slideshows and reports. Lotus, Keynote, OpenOffice Impress and Microsoft PowerPoint are some popular presentation software. Let us learn about PowerPoint 2016 in detail. PowerPoint 2016 PowerPoint 2016 helps the user in presenting an idea or information to others through a presentation. A presentation is a representation of an idea or information using text, curves, graphs, videos, clip art, picture and sound clips etc. A presentation has a number of sheets. These sheets are called slides. Each sheet contains some information. Displaying multiple slides together in a sequence is called a slideshow. Starting PowerPoint 2016 The steps to start PowerPoint 2016 are as follows. Step 1. Click on the Start button. Step 2. Click on the All Apps option. Step 3. Scroll down and click on the PowerPoint folder. The PowerPoint window appears. Components of PowerPoint 2016 window PowerPoint 2016 window has the following components. Ribbon, File tab, Quick Access Toolbar, Tabs, Dialog Box Launcher, Title Bar, Slide Pane, Placeholder, Control Buttons, Slide or Outline Pane, Status Bar, Notes Pane, View Buttons, Zoom Control. The above window shows the components of PowerPoint window. Let us learn about some important components. Quick Access Toolbar It shows the options we use quite often such as Save, Undo and Redo. Title Bar The title bar shows the title or the name of the presentation. It is a horizontal bar on the top of the screen. Minimize, Maximize and Close window buttons are present on the right side of the title bar called as Program Level Control Buttons. Ribbon. The ribbon is present below the tabs. It contains various tabs and each tab contains a group of options. Status bar. The status bar is a horizontal bar at the bottom of the presentation. A status bar shows the current slide number, number of slides, view buttons and zoom slider. Dialog box launcher. The dialog box launcher is an arrow that appears at the bottom right corner in some groups. Clicking on this opens a related dialog box with more options related to that group. Slides or Outline Pane It shows all of the slides in the presentation as small pictures called thumbnails. Notes Pane The notes pane helps to add notes to each slide. These notes are very helpful to add additional information to a slide. Slide Pane The slide pane contains the working slides. We can add any text, multimedia and picture, etc. Placeholder The placeholder is a dotted rectangular box on a slide that holds the text, the pictures and images, etc. View buttons The view buttons are located at the bottom of the presentation. They help to switch between a normal view, a slide sorter view, a reading view and a slideshow view. 
creating a new presentation. When we open PowerPoint, it opens a new presentation named Presentation 1. It consists of two placeholders, title and the subtitle text boxes. The steps to start a new presentation are as follows. Step 1. Open PowerPoint 2016 as discussed earlier. Step 2. Click on the File tab. Step 3. Click on the New option from the menu. There are many options present on the screen. Out of these, select Blank Presentation. A new blank presentation appears in the PowerPoint. Adding theme to the slide. A theme is a predefined combination of colors, fonts and effects that can be applied to the presentation. Before starting writing anything on a slide, it is always good to first choose the color and the design of the slides so that colors for writing can be chosen accordingly. The steps to add themes to the slides are as follows. Step 1. Click on the Design tab. We will get ready-made themes in the Themes group. Step 2. Choose Theme for Slides and click on that to apply. We can change colors fonts and effects too using the tools on the right of the themes. For more themes, click on the more button. Inserting text to the slide. On the blank presentation, we can write any text in the placeholders which are the dotted rectangular boxes where we click first and then start typing. There are two placeholders, title and subtitle. First, click on the title placeholder box and add text. Then, click on the subtitle placeholder box and add text. Inserting a new slide. To insert a new slide in your presentation, follow these steps. Step 1. Click on the Home tab. Step 2. Then, on the Slides group, click on the New Slide option. Step 3. A collection of slides will appear. Choose a blank slide. A new slide is inserted. Inserting a picture to the slide. To insert a picture to the slide, follow these steps. Step 1. Click on the slide where we would like to add a picture. Step 2. Click on the Insert tab. Step 3. Go to the Images group and then select the Picture option. Step 4. Click on the device, this device or online pictures from where we want to insert the picture. A dialog box called Insert Picture will appear. Step 5. Search and double-click on the picture which we want to insert. Select the picture and click on the Insert button. The picture will appear on the slide. Resize the picture by dragging its corners and place it at the required place by using the mouse. Saving a presentation. It is always important to save our work for future use. For saving a presentation, the steps are as follows. Step 1. In the File tab, click on the Save or Save As option from the left pane. Step 2. Select this PC from the center pane and click on the Browse option. Step 3. The Save As dialog box will appear asking us to select the place where we want to save our presentation. Step 4. Type the name of our presentation in the file name box. Step 5. Click on the save button. This saves the presentation and the new file name appears on the title bar. Deleting a slide. To delete a slide in PowerPoint, follow these steps. Step 1. In the left pane, right click on the particular slide that we want to delete. Step 2. Click on the delete slide option. That particular slide will get deleted. Viewing a slideshow. When the presentation is complete and properly saved, it is very important to present it in the correct way. A slideshow refers to displaying all the slides of a presentation in a sequence on the full screen mode. To enter in the slideshow mode, press F5 on the keyboard or click on the slideshow tab. And in the Start Slideshow group, click on the From Beginning to view the entire presentation or the From Current Slide to view from the current slide onwards. Press the arrow keys or click on the left mouse button to move through a slideshow.
at the end of the presentation, a blank screen will appear with the message End of Slideshow. Click to exit. So, press any key to exit Slideshow. Closing a presentation. After completing the presentation and properly saving, it is time to close the presentation. The steps to close the presentation are as follows. Step 1. Click on the File tab. Step 2. Select the Close option. The presentation will get closed but the PowerPoint window will remain open. If we have not saved your work, then PowerPoint 2016 will ask us to save the matter before closing. Tectionary Slides For presenting information in an impressive manner, some sheets are created in PowerPoint. These sheets are called slides. Slideshow It refers to displaying multiple slides of a presentation in a sequence on the full screen mode. Presentation A presentation consists of a number of individual slides arranged in a planned manner. Dialog box launcher it is an arrow that appears at the bottom right corner in some groups. Clicking on it opens a related dialog box with more commands related to that group. Placeholders. These are the dotted rectangular boxes where we click first and then start typing. Let's refresh. Presentation is used to present an idea, information, data or concept in a proper manner. To start making a presentation, we must first start with a blank template. We may use a picture, a video clip and a sound clip in the presentation. Slideshow is a very important part of presenting a presentation. It is very necessary to save the work before exiting the PowerPoint.